Hi guys, how are you doing? It's Gavin from Pond's Field and today we're going to be cleaning out a client's filter system. He's away on holidays. He's got some Evolution Aqua stainless steel vortexes. As you can see, they are rammed. And you've got an excess there. So first off, we're going to stop any stuff coming in from the Nexus. The pipe in the centre. Stop anything coming back through. This pipe here coming into the Evolution Aqua. We're going to turn off the 4 inch ball valve. Stop any water coming in from the pond. Now we're going to open this valve here. Which will empty this. And then we take the thermometer out. Just way to clean it guys, you got a little brush. And just stir it around. Kind of make like a vortex. see how much waste material is getting caught in the first uh, section of this filter system. The heavier particles sinks down and obviously the lighter particles then go through into the nexus. You see the rest which is getting caught as well. One dirty filter. And what we're going to do now, we're going to purge the four inch drain, the bottom drain, just to pull the rest of the, the muck through. The drain is not too bad, to be honest. water is going to go through into the nexus. I need to bypass the A now so you've got these A lines. At the moment it's in the outer chamber. We're going to percolate the water and get into the inner chamber. And we put a little uh, sleeve in here to stop anything coming back. And now we're going to transfer the A line into the middle as you watch it now come through and percolate and watch all the waste material come off it's not too bad because obviously the vortex captures most of the stuff you see how dirty this was and now it's coming through see how black it's going you need to put this pipe in the middle to stop anything going through into the outer chamber you need to make sure all your valves are off pumps it off. If the pump was left on now this outer chain will be dropped down. So we need to make sure of that. See how the particles are trying to come back through. That's the whole point for this uh, bracing, kind of like a dam. We need to percolate for a little some time. The water is stinking, which has been percolating. So now we'll open the valve up and drain this system. The blue valve down there, which will take us through. Um, I think one of the guys is going to get me the hose pipe now so we can swivel down, make sure it's turned on. I personally don't like doing it this way, but as a client likes it this way, we do it this way. I'd rather use the, the corn water, but it's everyone with their preference. You can see how much black stuff, this is where we use the hose. To get rid of that stuff which gets caught on the sides. Just to get all the little bits off. The holes down, and you can see down the bottom there's a lot of stuff. So let's 
that being washed away. Right the way around. Make sure it's all nice and clean right the way around. And we're going to clean everything off on the inside, outside. We've got to clean the filter off then guys. That stuff just stays in there and that water, you see a leak. That water is going straight back in your pond. Get it all in. Right, so while we uh, was cleaning this one, guys, this has been percolating for a good five minutes. I don't know if you can see the, how bad it is, the finer particles. You see the finer particles there? These settlement chambers or vortexes capture the bigger, heavier stuff. And all the finer part goes is caught. And now we're going to drain it and give it a quick hose down. You see all the crud going down. We're going to get a hose pipe now and just follow it down. Just to make sure it doesn't get stuck. If it dries out in the pipe work, more than likely you get a blockage. Stuff here, we've got to get rid of that. That makes this all nice and grey. All the way around, it's nice and grey now. 